Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. And today we crown a king. Last week, Kevin Padgington defeated the reigning king, Dan Gauthier. Now, he faces the number one seed, Phil Clough. This is going to be a spectacular match, and at the end, there is going to be a new king. Let's get to the action. Up now, the number one seed, Phil Clough, with a qualifying score of 408, pulling out of bogey lanes with an average of a 111. Up first, veteran Candlepin Bowl of Phil Clough. A little wide left. MK to the right. And what has he got to start off? An MK, better known as? The MK. The MK, okay, here he goes. He wants to find a head pin, get off to a good start. Oh, oh yes! Conquered yes. the MK, hey. beautiful opening oh, shot. Oh, what a shot. Clock. Look at the replay, look at the replay, The five Jones. pin, the last the one, the uh, ball. It timbered over, he wanted it, he got it. The lights are on, the challenge is there. Look at this disaster. Well, he One, five three, of the spear. six, nine, and the seven with a piece of wood behind the three, behind the six, and behind the nine. Come on, Phil, Phil. He, oh, Ooh. drilled the head pin, wanted it, but only took out the one and the nine. So you got five pins up, you hit the object, and take out two out of five. Where else but candle pin bowling? Phil has been doing this a long, long, long time. Oh, he's got the nine box. Up now, Kevin Paddington, the number two seed, who defeated the King of the Palace champion, Dan Gauthier, last week, pulling out a river walk. The name is Barry Mass. His average, a 117. It is the King of the Palace. It is the championship round. Oh, look at, oh, well, let's, well I don't know. Maybe that would have been better if it stayed up. Huh? He's left the seven and the eight. Difficult piece wood. of wood in front. Which one are you going to play? Uh, this is kind of tough. You know what? I don't know. Spraying and praying, baby. Go to if, the altar. If he hits the front one, I think it's just going to reflect somewhere. Oh, oh no! Pick no. Up. Time, he, he heard me the last time. Right? He did three you times today. Spray and pray. Right. That's right. He went to the altar and he did. You're absolutely correct. It is the, it no. is the king of the palace. It is the championship round. Here he goes, Kevin wants it. He wants to be the new king. Let's see what happens. Oh, he wanted the head pin. But Left he the one, the... six in the 10 with some wood rolling up. He's got to make head pin contact. He's got to get the head pin. This might be a little difficult shot. Yeah, this Let's is see how gonna, Kevin handles it. This is going to be tough, no doubt about it. Oh, no, he drilled it and nothing happened. Uh, hit, hit it head on. Hit it head on, just drilled it and went right by everything else. All right, this is going to be tough, too, to shoot two in the corner with that wood. Yeah, I thought so. It only took out one. Okay, nine. He opens up with a 26 to Phil Clough's 24. Phil's got a small three-pin lead. Yeah. I think the Judas are gone. I think they're ready to turn it on here in the championship round for the king of the palace. Yeah, Phil has been bowling, like I said before, he has been bowling a long time. He used to be on TV. You know, I had an opportunity to sit down and talk to him, and, you know, I went back and I watched some of his videos, and he's been doing this for a long time and bowling the same way. Huh? And he is just one of those icons that everybody wants to look up to, and, you know, he's a great guy to talk to. And when he's not candlepin bowling, he's either, in the summertime, he's either hiking or kayaking or doing a little bit of canoeing and taking some wildlife yeah. pictures and hopefully speaking of wildlife he doesn't see you in those flag shorts oh, like man no. it's like the ninth wonder of the world right there found the head pin on this one but look at this the five pins rock and it spun it's staying it did, up there it, spun, it did not go down it spun three or four times around but it never <laughs> fell down why two it's seven five and ten with a oh, lot of junk this on the is deck a tough spin. 
No, no, he's left the five and the seven for the ten bucks. Very difficult. Now let's see what happens. He wants at least one out of the two. Oh, nice. almost! Right. Did he, you see he, that? Yep. He hit that with such. Look at it. It stood on its end. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the replay. That was oh, did, did you say, awesome. Unbelievable shot. Goes the the pin, the, there goes the octave. I'm sorry. I, I some it things. It hurts my ears. Okay, I, I apologize. I apologize. Okay, Kevin Padgerton up. And he's left a favorable three pin leave. One, two, four. Once again, a very. It Deuce looks easy, but it four. is difficult. But he's yeah. got to split them. Run the ladder. Run the ladder, right? That's that's what you Run call it. Run the little step ladder. Oh, oh, he did it. He, he didn't hit it head it, on. It was but it, it was shaded. Yeah. He hit it head on, and that four pin little action took it out. No, oh, Kevin worked on his pair. Out. The confidence is there. He wants to become the king. He wants it. He can feel it, like Phil does. They're going head to head. It's great competition. Let's see what the Phil is. Only took out three. Yeah, any specific name for this one or what? Nah, no, I Nothing? Ugly. You got nothing? Ugly. Ugly? Oh, okay. That's the bowler's fault. You, know, yeah, well, you, didn't know. Hit, you didn't hit the head pin. You got to hit the head pin. Well, he hit it that time, but he only took out four out of seven. I seven, know. six, and ten was some wood. Oh, this is ugly. Lying around. Well, you got to play the two in the corner. Yeah, Kevin, you know, when he's not bowling on the pro Friday night league in Riverwalk, um, he also bowls over at Mason's. Oh, yes, you that's know, right, yeah. A partner in the Twin City Challenge, Challenge coming yep, up. Yep. Right now, this is a dead even match. 0-0. Zero, zero. 47 apiece. I love a great match like this. You know, you mentioned earlier, David, about Phil Cuff and the way he bowls. All yeah, can he delivery. That's right. But all can and bowlers throw the ball differently. You agree? Every single bowler right. has a different, different approach. That's correct. And they throw the ball differently. It's it's just Phil, Phil gets so low that his his knees actually dragging on the alleys. Oh, oh, he missed it. He he wanted to get to the inside of the head pin into the three and just missed. Well, he wants to get out of this with a nine. I would take a ten if I could. Oh, disappointing seven. Did not want that. I'm pretty sure you know talking to Phil and, and goofing around with him, uh, yo, and I asked him straight up. For all the years that you have been bowling, is there a shot that you have not seen? He said, I think I've seen them all. Oh, he probably has. Now he's going for the spin. Nice played the wood. Nice play. Nice pickup. Played the wood. Okay, he's got the confidence builder he needed. Now here comes Kevin. Kevin's up. Ready to go. A little extra time there to get set. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we probably didn't feel comfortable with everything and needed it. And he's left the triangle right. This is his least favorite shot. Yes, he doesn't like the triangle right. He Any didn't. triangle. Any triangle. And how many possibilities of the triangle? There are six. Yeah, six. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, six. 50% I got. Uh, That's right. Please, I don't want to hear it no more. Come on now. Oh. Let's be honest. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm going to let it up for the viewers. I made a bet with David one, a couple weeks ago that if I put up the six possibilities of the triangle. Because he kept on saying it was 30, 20, never had no. the right percentage. 35 down. to 40 percent. David challenged him on me. He said he could make it 50 percent of the time. I said, fine. I set him up in the alleys. And he made 50%. I paid off my my. There's some my video debt. floating around there too of it. Yes, so there, there is. is there is. So maybe That's someday, right. Maybe someday. I'm not set. It's done. Okay. You won. Oh, Kevin dropped an eight, leaving the one eight. For spare, he's got to drill this he's head. He's got pin. a lot of junk on the deck. Yeah. One, two, three, four pieces. I don't think the wood went. Well, you never know. This is can open bowling. Yep. Got to drill the head pin into the eight. See what happens. Come on. Ooh, now, now, look at this. Look at that. All the wood scatters, they all go every which way. Do you think one would make contact with that pin to give Kevin the spare? No. no. Hey, right. stop playing favorites. Right. I'm not playing favorites. I'm just saying to help right. somebody. All right, after six. Phil Clough, 59 with a, with a ball, and Kevin Paddington with a 67. Okay, Phil wants the big mark. The big Right now he's mark. sitting on a 69 waiting for a fill. 
look at this. Right through the middle. He's Two, left it. four, ugly, seven, ugly. six, and ten with some wood uh, on the six. Ugly five pin spare leave. Well, he's got to split the two and the four. No, why left? Okay, now we Watch that ball. You see that ball tail? Tail. Yeah. It looked like he was dead on where he wanted to hit it, and it and just kind of like started yeah. tailing off. Just put too much of spin on it when he delivered it. Okay. He wants the nine. He got the nine. All right. Okay, here comes Phil. Threw a good ball on the, on the spare, Phil. Got nothing out of it. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, wide left. One, three, eight, nine, ten for the spare. Yeah. This is difficult, too. He's got to split them. He's got to get the head pin. He did. Oh, and he did make it. Spare. What an excellent, excellent shot. Shot of the match so far. Five pin difficult spare made by Phil Clough. Okay, Kevin's up. Kevin's getting ready. The big back swing in motion. And there it goes. No doubt about it. That's the hammer. That's what he wanted, and he produced it. That's a beautiful ball right there. Last pin to fall is the six. What a beautiful ball. What a beautiful delivery. Okay, now he wants the double. Will we see another double? He got it in the, the prior match. Last week he got a double. That's right, last week. He wants the king of the palace. He wants to wear the... Oh, oh. wide left. But he's left four pins up. The one, the three, the eight, and the nine. He's got some wood. I'd play the split them, David, I think. See what happens? Yeah, this is going to be kind of a tough shot. Yeah, they're going to ricochet everywhere. We need the head. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Whoa, you're right. Almost. I thought that pin was going to come up and hit it, and then that one other piece of deadwood spun around and gave it a little bit more, more momentum. Left He's with almost, the finger of God. Almost. Picked it now, out. Now, see, here was a case where the pin was behind. The deadwood was behind the pin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was what we call the can open bone. It was frozen. Yep. The ball clearly hit the pin, the deadwood behind. And it's spun forward. Yep. Because of what? Inertia. Inertia, right. Who else been working? Well, you we remember it from prior shows, and then it came up again. Really? And when's, when's the last time you used inertia? Oh, like I remember about six months ago or so, prior show. Six months ago, yeah. wow. Or something like that. Okay, Phil going for the spare. Yes, Pick nice shot. Look at that shot. Back to back spares. Yes. Needed it. He got the head pin, he got the object, he wanted the spare, and he got it, okay. He want, now he wants the big fill. He wants the 8, 9, or 10. He wants to become the reigning king of the palace. Oh, he's got a long way to go. Oh, little wide right, but look at this. He's getting a lot of good breaks here. Oh, Another yes. 7 fill. Another favorable one. He makes contact with the head pin. It should take out the spare. One four seven with some wood on the deck. Needs that head pin. Oh, now look at look this. At this. The helicopters are spinning around. Why did the fourth pin stay up? Because it was told to. Probably, I don't know. Phil thought he had it. You saw the expression. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it happens. That's why what? Gano pin bowling is the best game for your family, for the individual family. Anybody, speaking about that, anybody can come to the Twin City Challenge. Anybody can do it. Doesn't Watch. matter age, height, weight, doesn't matter. Maybe I can bowl in the flag pants. That don't oh. matter either. Of course, probably uh, people who go home, but the horror know. of it all. Okay, <laughs> Colonel Sanders doesn't even want those legs. All right, here's Kevin. Oh. He's coming up. The half Worcester. Half to the Worcester left. left. How does it happen? You didn't hit the object. You didn't hit the. My head favorite head. shot right here. Well, you're right. It does look pretty when it's made. It's very, very, very difficult. There it goes. Oh, there it is. I said it was very pretty when it goes. Look and there at it that goes. shot. What a beautiful shot. That was, that's, I'm telling you, it's pretty when it goes. Would you agree that it's made one out of 50? I don't know. I haven't ever tried oh, that challenge. I think it's somewhere around one out of 50. Maybe what someday. A, uh, wide right, but he's dropped. Say, hey, God damn, look at this. Eight he pin, missed his object. Eight pin drop. They still may fall, who knows, but look at uh, the wood. This is, this is ugly. Oh, this is ugly. 
Oh boy, where are you going? You got to go with the you wood gotta, in the front. You, you have yeah, to. You just got to hit the wood. See what happens. Brandon right praying, kid. Red line. Oh, and it went up and around it. it. Did you see that? He knew that was. Travis, gonna did you see that piece of dead wood? I could have told you that was going to happen. I know it. That wasn't a confidence builder at all. That piece of wood went up and over. I think. I think. And Kevin, he picks it up for the ten. I think Kevin knew it ahead of time. After okay. one, Phil Clough 116, Kevin Paddington 124. Phil's getting a five-pin handicap. Kevin's Paddington's lead is only three. The king of the palace. Three pin deficit for Phil, and here comes Kevin. Wants to start off. Lane number three, box number one. He's left the maybe. Oh, left the left the three pin. No wood. He's got to drill it. He's got to go right at it. Wants this, wants to open it up with a spare. Let's see what happens. Oh, he, oh and he was wide left. He thought he had it. He chucked that ball in the ocean, didn't he? Well, I think he thought he really did have it, though, in the beginning. It looked like the conference was there after he released. Oh, now he missed right. Wide left, wide, wide right. Left. Who knows? It, oh, you know, he's disappointed. Been looking at him. Give oh, him. he wanted That's that. enough. It happens. It's Candle Pin Bowling. And Kevin's trying to actually, you know, improve his lead on Phil. Phil, yeah, it was very disappointing. And look at this ugliness. Three, six, ten, and the four. Piece of wood coming up against the I don't four. think the wood's going to help. He's got a tough shot. He's got to split the three and the six. Throw maybe throw one of the two over there. Let's see what happens. Oh no! And the team Threw that ball away. Uh, he's disappointed in himself. He's a little misconglobulated here with throwing the ball. What away. was that? Oh, misconglobulated means you're just not in focus. New word, Stevenism. Well, he's disappointed. Kevin, very, very disappointed on the. You and your Stevisms. Hey, it's the English language. I love the English language. Do you realize this? That was English. There's 480,000 words in the Webster dictionary, somewhere approximately. We only approximately use 35,000 of them. Because only only um, the recognizable words are used. That's right. We're, we're ones that are commonly used. Right. Yeah. Phil leaves the one, three, seven, ten. Minded a little bit in English in college. That was one of my assignments. I remember that. Okay, he goes Phil. Wide left, almost. No, wide, just you know, by the skin of his teeth. Teeth, okay, skin of his teeth, okay. We'll use yeah. your clo clo locally isms. Oh man, I tell you what. <laughs> I got up today. If you understood the what Jim that David, he, if it's you the championship match. It's candle pin bowlers for the if king. You understood There's what the sign of the It's the king of the palace. If you understood what he just said? Please, somebody call in, they write will. in, text in. They will. Somebody, okay. please. Phil wants to come back here. He wants the head pin. Oh. Through the bottom of the left. MK, okay, we have to clean up the show a little bit. Okay. That's why your flag shorts and you right. aren't on them. It's good. Drill the hit. Oh, he knew it, missed it. Steve, you yeah. have a face for radio. Could be. TV too, but not on camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> I enjoy it. I love watching camera. Everybody knows it. Every I, I, constantly thinking about the game. It's a great sport. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Phil has a four-pin lead, 144 to 140. Everywhere we go, I talk to people to promote the show, promote Candlepin Bowl, promote the, the Palace Lanes. Ah, da, 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 da. It's a great sport. My Steve dad introduced it to me in 1954. I was a four-year-old youngster and went bowling with him on his. Is that when they had like wooden pins? No, no. Wooden pins came out. Was stopped in 1949. Oh. Full, so, full wooden pins. So you're at that age where you were a pin setter. Yes, I did actually. Did. For a penny a pin. No, I got a nickel, I believe. Okay, he's left Ooh. the big money back then, David. Yeah, especially for you. Buy a pack of gum. That's right. Okay. Probably buy a gallon of gas. Oh, too. he's wide left. Kevin knew that. No, gas back then, probably around 20 cents, I would say. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. Kevin wanted Times that change. Spare. Oh, he's with that. Kevin's a little bit... A little bit off in this game. Matter of fact, I think your, your first electronic device was actually a stone tablet. No, no. <laughs> my first electronic device was an old football game that I got 
at Christmas. I was a real youngster. I loved watching New York Giants football. And it was a game where they... So you're a Giants fan? Yeah, that's right. The, the, well, the we, players we actually, live in New England, kid. That's right. They actually moved on to oh. soccer. Kevin, oh, wide right. He's left the one nine. Let's get back well, to Well, Steve ball. reminisces okay. about his childhood right. being a Giants fan in New England country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Uh. He's got the one nine. Oh, he wanted that one, too. Left the nine pin. Left the nine pin. He's disappointed. Possibly two back-to-back -back spares he could have had. Just a quick reminder. From now until March 16th, Twin City Challenge yep. here at New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg at Mason's Bowling yep. Center in Lumster, Mass. Two divisions, an A and a B. Men throw 10 strings, women throw five. Qualify, scratch, in your, in your first 10. Oh, oh there, wow. there it is, not to interrupt Phil David. Wrecked David. The rack oh, with that my. One. Nice Look shot. at that delivery. Found the one three pocket. Once again, excellent no replay. No slow motion action there. That was Just obliterated him. That was the Acme ball. Now, if you notice that Phil's ball is not quite as strong and fast as Kevin's, but same result. Doesn't matter how what fast you throw the ball. No, it doesn't matter how the speed. Really doesn't matter much in this game. It's more of accuracy. Sometimes people like a, you know, a slower ball and yeah, you know, that's a right. more yeah, action or. It's unique. Oh, he's made the four horsemen on the strike. Oh, Excellent bowling. Oh, Long. has he got it going now? Phil Clough has found it. What's he found? Rhythm. He's found the head pin. Rhythm. He's found the rhythm. R H Y T H M. Rhythm. Rhythm. Hey, there you go. There goes okay. the octave. Up a little bit with the rhythm. Octave. Okay. Kevin's got to come back here. <laughs> He's in the fifth box. He needs it. Come on, Kevin. Is he going to pick one of his own up? Nope. No, Too bad, he's got kid. A, he's got a two pin. He's got Leaves the five, the five and eight. eight. He's got to go after the five pin. He can't. I want to trust this wood. Yes, okay. He Phil, needed it. He got the break. There's the replay off up. the sidewall. Yep. There it is. He needed it. Nice pickup. Now he wants to fill the spin. Not the most conventional way, but hey. It works. It looks all the same on paper. That's correct. That is a spare. It's my. You know who we haven't seen in a while? Who? Jimmy Nestor. Yeah, I know. I, I miss him. him. Yeah, he must be working or something. Okay. Oh, no, he's actually here. Actually, from, uh, from, oh, from, I heard through the grapevine. Oh, okay. No? Some soon. Get well soon, kid. Looking okay, forward to seeing Jimmy. you back. I miss you. Jimmy, obviously, to take a second, the bowler who threw the world-famous spinning pin. <laughs> Remember, I'll never forget that as long as I live. Yeah, I and think Jim, he had like and uh, the, and the an epiphany or something like and that. And the excellence of, of uh, the one and oh, only outstanding yeah, producer, George, director, yeah, Trevor. Yeah, yeah, 22 yeah. minutes of 20... 22 minutes? Oh, excuse me. 22. Holy Toledo, that's <laughs> half the show. 22 seconds. Over 22 seconds of a spin. And about? it still made... Up now, Phil working on his spare. Look at this, right down the middle of the plate. Ooh, look at this. He's left the 5, 6, 10. Got some wood. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough pickup. Seven. He gets this one. He's going to have three marks in a row. Nope, didn't oh, make nice it all. try. He thought he wanted to throw that wood oh. off the side wood. Excuse me, side curve. Nick that just didn't do it. Just didn't develop. He's got the kingpin up for the 10 box. Look no. at the concentration's there. Nice All the way. The he knew it. I love watching Phil Ball. That's right. Concentration. No. It's there. Delivery's old there. Old Channel 5, Old Channel no. 50. The old days. The Boylston Bowler Room, I believe. That's where the original Channel 5 show was. No. Yep. Boylston Bowler Room in, in Boston, 1958. You know why, Dave? You know why I'm so accurate on that? I was there. You were? October 1958. Wow. Yeah. It was the top floor of the warehouse. Dude, did you have like bell bottoms on or no? Like... The bell bottoms didn't come up to the 70s. Oh, so you must have had like a velour? Was it velour? No, no. Did I have fez? My I had my turtle neck down. I can't remember. Okay. My navel. I had a navel. Bell bottoms. You had bell bottoms. Oh yes, yes. That, I'll wear them next week for you for the oh, show. Are they? Are they? Got, are they? They're clean. New York Giants? Are they, no, no. Or the red, flags? red. No, the red, red plaid. <laughs> red plaid. <laughs> Oh. Okay, after six, we got uh, oh, man. Phil Clough with a 74 to 59 lead. Right. You should have worn, you should have worn on camera with that Al Bowen shirt you had on. Right. Okay, well, okay, enough, enough with the fashion. That's pretty loud. Um, okay, we'll, we'll <laughs> start getting into wrestling with with, with Freddie Blassie, the, the Hollywood fashion plate classy of wrestling. Classy Freddie Blassie. The Hollywood Let's get it right. The cla classy Freddie Blassie, the That's Hollywood right. fashion plate of wrestling. That's okay. right. Right next to Gorgeous George. 
Oh, he's dropped the. Look at that. See that? Kevin's got to get going here. He's he's down 17. Yeah, at least he's got four boxes. He's got to get three, going. One, three, six, four, seven with a piece of wood. He's got to get contact with the head pin. Yes. Oh, oh nice what a shot! Off. Excellent, excellent candle pin shot. Look, Look at, at that. this. The spare. last one to go was the six. The bed dead wood. That would have stayed if that wall. piece of wood didn't come back. Yeah, that was going to be staying. Yeah. Kevin knows he has a lot of work to do because Phil opened up a can of whoop ass on him. He's got a huge well, Phil, lead. Phil, Phil put the pressure on. Kevin found it. No, now once again, he How found does that. Have. He two, he's had this four, lead three times. Two, four, five. Oh my goodness. He well, found the hit. seven and a five. He wanted eight, nine, and ten to put the pressure back on the well, he Phil. Well, this is a makeable spare. It's it's oh he yes, you're it. right. But it is a makeable spare, difficult. But he made it. Well, it's just like a mini, a mini spread eagle, a, a mini uh, Caleri or whatever. Oh, whatever. Right. You know, it's all right. Okay. It's an easier spare than the triangle that Kevin hates. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It is. I'll agree. Oh. oh. Just a little bit off. Leaves the four horsemen: Mo, Larry, Curly, and. No. No. It, it's Stu, Stu Dreyer, May, Miller, Crowley, and. Lane. I think the only other person that actually may remember those names is probably Phil. Oh yeah, there's lots of people know. There's lots of people. Really. Know. He drilled the head pin straight on the four horsemen from Notre Dame, the football players, 19, uh, 1926. Okay, here goes Phil going for the 10 box. Oh, he made it. Ten. A nice 10, very nice delivery. Split him. He split the, he split the three and the six. He's got the 10 box. Okay, up on alley six. Phil's actually looking to put the screws to Kevin. He oh, wants yeah. to put this thing to bed. Well, he, he just checked his approach. Doing it a long time. His feet. He is no stranger to pressure. Look at that! Look at that! Oh! Uh, oh! He's left, left the seven, the seven pin with a piece save, of wood. Oh yeah, the wood's favorable. The seven pin left alone in the corner by itself. Called the corner of the building. Shot. Has he got it? No yeah, he problem. Did. No problem. That time, the wood it was very favorable. Any contact with it took out the seven, and he did. Yeah. All he had to do was breathe on. It. Okay. The pressure's on the Kevin. Breeze. Kevin's working on the spear. Here it is. It's going into the eighth box, excuse me, in the ninth box. He's on the spare. He needs it. Yeah, he needs to make up some pins. Phil's starting to run away with this yeah. thing. Phil's really putting the pressure on. It's the king of the palace. You know what Phil's saying? Listen here, youngster. I love, look at this, another triangle. Phil's been doing this since Kevin was in diapers. Probably has. Yeah, yeah, he has. Another triangle. How many Phil's versions? Phil's probably been doing this since I was in diapers. How many versions of the triangle are there? Uh, six. 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 There's six. And here's one of them. The one, two, three. Oh, and he got it. He got it. He, he, got it. he knew he missed it. Look at the, God, the gods of a raining down. Not completely. raining down. Are you kidding me? Look at he that. completely missed his object. How does it happen? Why does it happen? It's can't open bowler. Kevin, Where else could something like this happen? Kevin has to wipe his feet because he got real lucky on that one. I'm just saying. Doesn't matter. Just saying. It doesn't matter. You know, it's a spare. It looks great on paper, but everybody it saw it. It feels good. He threw that ball away, and he just got a little Completely bit of Completely missed everything. And what yep. But the uniqueness of that, David, is how did he leave the one, two, three to start with? Here he goes. Oh, oh half boy. whistle to the right. I don't think it's a half whistle. He can get the five. Oh, uh, yeah, he took the yeah. five out. Yeah, he got a three, Phil. He's very disappointed. Well, makeable spare. Hit. No. Seven, ten up with some wood in front of the ten. Well, he's got the goal pulse here. The railroad split. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Oh, boy, he, he got that wood. He put a little bit extra oomph on that ball. Yeah. Telling you what. Okay, he Phil is looking to close the door on yeah, this. Yeah. He wants it. He wants to be crazy. Look at that. Oh, Beautiful. Oh no! Look what. How <laughs> can you leave the three back pins and that ball was delivered? You. St oh, Seven, eight, six. I don't blame you for looking up into the bowling gods, Phil. Look at this, look at this, look at, look at this. Oh, he almost pulled it off. Eight, he hit seven. the head pin, he hit his object, he split the one to three, and he left three back pins along with the six. It was ugly. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I have, it was ugly. I, I, I can't comment. I have no idea. That's all I can tell you. It's candle pin bowling. I know I say the thousand times. Yeah, it's a nice ten. Nice ten. Very nice. Use that wood to sweep it over. Very, very uh, nice shot. Very nice shot. Okay. 
fills up, he's ready. Zero in on the pins. Oh, what a lot. He's left. Now, this has been common in the matches the one, the six, and the ten. There's been a lot of things that are common. Common leaves today. Yeah, see them more Half often. Half whisters. Than often. And, yeah. you know. Oh! Look at that. Ten pin rattled. Rattled, didn't go down. Nope. Little shaking and rattling, but no rolling. Uh. Now to the candle pin viewers out there, the dead wood is on what? What is what? it? What? What's it rolling around on? A deck. A, uh, the pin deck, right? A pin plate. Whatever really? You want to call it. I don't know. I call it a pin plate. Pin plate, deck, whatever. Oh, whatever. Same thing. All right, Phil with the ten. All right. And he is. We have a new king of the palace, palace champion, champion in the name of Phil Klopp. Veteran candle pin bowler. He's the champ. He earned it. He came in under pressure. He took it. He deserved it. He is the new king of the palace. He's Phil gonna... took that youngster, Kevin Paddington, and wiped the floor with him. Congratulations, Phil. Spectacular bowling. 246 to 238. And there's the final tabulations showing one strike for Kevin and one strike for Phil. Six bears for Phil. Seven for Kev. Seven. First string, 116 to Paddington's 124. Phil, 120 to Kevin Paddington's 114. Yo, with the handicap, 246 to 238. Great match for both of them. Congratulations, Phil Clough, the winner of the King of the Palace. Congratulations, Phil. Now each finalist will have their shot at the Spread Eagle Challenge. One ball, one shot to make Steve's nightmare shot happen for some cash money. Let's get to the action. Spectacular bowling by one Phil Clough, veteran bowler, and the new King of the Palace champion.